So I'm Rich Hartel. I'm a professor faculty member here at the University of Wisconsin. I teach candy science. <laughs> So we're going to make some uh, heart candy today. Uh, this is a mixture of uh, granulated sugar. You can see the white stuff here. We have corn syrup uh, in here as well. And then we have water to help dissolve the sugar. And we're just going to dissolve all the sugar and make sure that there are no sugar crystals in here because eventually we're going to make uh, heart candy, which is a sugar glass. So we don't want crystals. <coughs> so we've reached the boiling point now. And so essentially we're going to follow the boiling point elevation curve up. So in making hard candy, we're going to boil up to what's called the hard crack stage, uh, where temperatures are on the order of 300 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, water contents are down around 2 or 3 percent. So we're now at the 233 degrees Fahrenheit range, and, and this is where we have uh, uh, the thread state. And what that means is the viscosity is high, higher that, high enough that uh, when you pour this into cold water, uh, it forms threads as it falls through there, but the viscosity is still low enough that those threads dissolve fairly quickly. So we're now at about 240 degrees, and uh, this is according to the candy thermometer where we find the, the firm ball state. And uh, so we boiled enough water that, that when you pour this into, when you drop it into cold water, uh, it forms a, a coherent mass that you can take out and form it into a ball that uh, can still be manipulated so it's plastic enough to be malleable uh, but it's still a firm ball that can hold its shape. Okay and we're at about uh, 298 now and, uh, and so I'm going to stop it and take it off the heat. So we're now going to take this over to the cold table and pour it out and start the next stage of the process. So at this point we've poured it onto the cold table and uh, it's starting to cool. You can see that uh, as it cools, it uh, becomes more plastic, more firm. We have some uh, color granules, and we'll add those in here. Some flavor, so we're going to add a little bit of lemon flavoring to this. Uh, and then we're going to add a little bit of acid as well. So right now we're in the stage where it's becoming a plastic mass. and. Uh, we're just trying to get it into a shape that it will uh, uh, go through the rollers. It still has enough uh, heat in it and the viscosity is low enough that it starts to flow. So if I were to form it now, it would form, but then it would quickly deform just like it's doing here. So this is just about at the point where, where we can form it. It's viscous enough that it's not flowing very quickly, uh, yet it's still plastic enough that we're going to be able to get it through the, the rollers and, and turn it into a nice candy. So as you can see, we're sending this plastic mass through these uh, drop rollers. They fill into the shapes and make the drop shape candy. So now our lemon drops have uh, solidified enough, they've reached room temperature where now they're in the uh, form of a sugar glass. So this is just like window glass, except it's made of sugar molecules, not of silica. Uh, but now because it's in a sugar glass, I can drop this onto the tray and it's going to shatter. It'll shatter along the webbing here, leaving behind some intact uh, lemon drops. So at this point we have uh, lemon drops, but they have all these sharp edges on them still, so the next step in the process would be to put them into some kind of tumbling drum to uh, smooth out the edges. Mm -hmm. 